What's up guys, this is Billy Guyette again with Guyette Roofing. I'm in Prattville, Alabama today. Prattville's about uh, 10, 15 miles north of Montgomery, which is where our, our headquartered office is. Um, so we're still in central Alabama, south central Alabama. And I'm on a steep slope roof today doing a roof inspection. The homeowners called and wanted an estimate to replace the roof. And I'm on the roof right now. And this is the, I'm going up a valley system. I've got my, my ladder stationed right there. You can see I'm on a, I'm on a sponge right here. I've got my cougar paws with the, with the special soles that have the Velcro sponge on there. This helps on, on steep slope roofs. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the point. So I come up the, the valley here. And the first thing I noticed is that the valley, the shingles in the valley are starting to buckle really bad. And I actually don't see this that often, but the, the cause of this is, is pretty simple and it could have been, um, it could have not happened if this roof was installed correctly. Now, these shingles are probably 15, 20 years old, so they've had a good run. Um, but this valley system is unique in its deterioration. Um, it's, it's not, it's breaking down prematurely uh, faster than the rest of the roof. And what we've got is an overlay valley system. There's, there's several different names for this. Um, but what we've got is a, you have two panels that form a valley right here. And they've got metal that runs up the valley. Um, and then they start with this side right here, which was their base layer side. And the way that this works is you put a full shingle that spans the whole width of the valley. And you put nails on one end of the shingle, and then you put nails on this part of the shingle that's covered up by this top layer. And it looks like, shoot, we've got, uh, we got some wasp activity. It is, oh my goodness. God, no. All right, just, I'm just gonna be calm. I'm gonna be calm. I've never been stung on camera. All right, I think we're good. Um, summertime in Alabama like this, the wasps come out and they really like to, to build their nest right underneath the eaves of roofs which is usually where we put our ladder. And that's where I find myself today. Um, I'm being dramatic. Okay, so what we've got is a valley that was installed incorrectly. We've got a, a base layer and then the layer that goes on top. This base layer, probably three quarters of this shingle is underneath this, this shingle right here. And the key to doing a valley correctly is to not have any fasteners in the middle right here there's a lot of water a high volume of water that drains and you can see this is a 12 on 12 pitch at least we've got a lot of water and it's flowing fast right on this dang it that wasp is is not leaving me alone oh my goodness no you know what I'm gonna do this video from the top. All right, so I'm going up a 12 on 12 roof right here with a camera in hand. But I was born for this. Okay. Now, I think you should be able to see the detail in the valley from this position. You can't see it as well, but All right, Whew. gotta catch my breath. So we've got some, some v, v Valley that is inside this valley system. It is underneath these shingles. This right here is the base layer of shingle. It's going over top of that valley. And then you're supposed to nail this base layer shingle. You're supposed to nail it on the other side, the part that gets hidden. The important part is not to have any nails inside the middle of the valley. And as far as I can tell, they didn't put any nails 
in the middle of the valley, which is important. If they did, this thing would have, this roof would have leaked um, within six months after installation. So that's not the case here. There's two things wrong with this. It's causing the shingles to buckle prematurely. The first thing is that they did not put enough nails on this side of the valley, the side that, that gets hidden. They may not have put any nails. I've seen that a lot where guys will put nails here, but they won't put nails on the other side, the part that's, that's underneath this. It's important to nail both extreme ends of the shingle uh, just to, for longevity purposes. There are wasps all over this roof. Um, anyway, it looks like they didn't put nails in the, in the part that's not exposed, um, which is a problem long term. Also, the V Valley. I'm, I'm going to go back down so we can get a, a really good view of this. Okay. You can hear and see all the grit. This is an old roof, and every step I take produces more grit okay man that wasp went away oh my goodness <coughs> all right okay so this is the valley right there it's got a hemmed edge and so this valley right here looks the same on this side it goes all the way up it's got a hemmed edge on either side it looks like on this side of the valley they did not clip the the hem they did not put a little piece of metal to clip the hem part gosh leave me alone bro anyway they they didn't do that and they failed to adequately nail this side of the of the shingle and so you've got buckling 15 years later i uh apologize for the for the shakiness of this video um just wanted to to highlight once again that putting on a new roof system is is more than just changing out the shingles you really have to know what you're doing the the guys on the roof have to know what they're doing and they have to have accountability and basic integrity and on pretty much every roof that I look at, you can see where maybe a few guys on the crew were operating with integrity. The rest of the guys just wanted to get paid. Wanted to go home, crack open their, their nightly six pack or whatever they do. Uh, not judging. I mean, they, they work hard for it, I guess. But there needs to be basic integrity when your roof system is being replaced. Um, and this valley system is a case in point. Billy Guyette, signing out. It's a hot one.